Riders want to know what's happening before they get to the platform. Everybody just sitting there waiting hot. The train station don't have no AC. It's hot in this yeah. one. Yeah. Leave the house just in time to catch the train because you can track it. Transit apps on the phone provide all kinds of information. Don't leave home without checking or else. I think it's the best way to get around the city. If there's another alternative option, and I'm going to take that. The MTA has its own apps and shares real-time information and scheduling with developers. What do I want as a subway rider that is missing from a current app? Sonny Ng is a software developer with a major corporation. He's also always on the go and decided to apply his skills to a problem we all face. If you're, you know, just getting out of the door of your apartment, you don't want to know, like, when is the next train coming? You need to run to get the next train. He created an app called The Weekendist. It has quickly become one of the go-to transit apps. Social media posts and discussions on Reddit forums have generated a lot of attention and downloads. We have no idea how people are going to react to it, um, so seeing that has been a really, really uh, positive response. With one tap, it identifies location and current travel options. Go to the route, see a list of upcoming trains, look ahead to transfers. He wants to see the ride and the options. How long does it take for you to get to where you need to go and then what the transfer is looking like? Service changes are in view as part of the complete picture of possible rides. I was trying to use data to kind of drive how we detect delays and how we detect um, the, the, the uh, estimated train times. Um, so I'm using more of an algorithm approach than just like schedules.